Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. If you've been using Evernote for some time, you may be already familiar with the tasks feature. They rolled that out uh, about a year or so ago, and a lot of people were very excited when that happened. For me, I found it was missing one important thing, and that was recurring tasks. The ability to put a task in and be reminded about that task every month let's say if I had a monthly report to do or quarterly or you know, even to buy a birthday gift on an annual basis. Uh, so I never really migrated over, Evernote ta over to Evernote tasks, but now Evernote has added that important feature, recurring tasks. And, and because it is, I think, an important feature for a lot of people, I, I wanted to give you a tour. I wanted to show you how you can use it and set it up and how it integrates within tasks and within Evernote. But then I started thinking, wouldn't it be really cool if I could get an insider's view uh, of Evernote and the way tasks has evolved? And I was really grateful when Jack Lynch, who is the uh, project manager for tasks at Evernote, uh, agreed to join me in conversation and, and give me and you uh, an insider's view of, uh, of this exciting product. Well, I've been a long, like you, I've been a long time Evernote user. Uh, I started working in the company just about three years ago. Uh, and, you know, literally from my interview, even, even before I started, uh, I was talking about this product with people, uh, with, with the folks at the company. Uh, and that excitement has only increased since I've been here and had a chance to, to see it come to life. It's been a, it's been a great adventure. And, I'm excited where we are today, but we've still got a long, long way to go. But I think as this evolves, it's going to be, it's going to turn into something pretty special. So I think that, you know, when Evernote first started, uh, and, and if there was an early criticism of Evernote, it was, uh, I've heard a lot of people say, you know, a dumping ground of a lot of notes and articles that you probably never find again. And yeah. a lot of people started using Evernote, but never thought about it as, as more than just a parking place. <laughs> but, but tasks kind of took Evernote really in a very significantly new direction. Yes. And, you know, it, it's, it's, I think we see it as actually fulfilling the mission, fulfilling the promise, which has always been to remember everything, uh, accomplish anything, not just remember everything, but also accomplish anything. And so this is a big step toward the accomplish anything part of that equation. Yeah. I imagine, though, there were significant challenges because really Evernote was not built for this kind of function. So did you have to like create something and layer it on top? Well, that was a big debate in the in the early days, actually, uh, because there are so many other great task management apps in the in the marketplace, so many other great calendar apps in the marketplace. Uh, you know, we're coming in as the new guys here. Uh, uh, you know, what, how do we how do we make an impact? How do we help people when there's so many other uh, folks trying to do the same thing? And I think philosophically early on, uh, we decided that we wanted this to be very Evernote-y, uh, uh, to really leverage our strengths, uh, uh, you know, leverage what we are good at and have that flow into a task product so that the combination of, you know, Evernote notes and Evernote tasks is sort of like a, a multiplicative benefit for, for our users. So and I can go into a lot more specifics about how that flowed into the product, but that was philosophically the, the big decision we made early on. Well, and, and I want to get into the features of tasks, but I'm really fascinated by this because I like the idea that tasks is is just knitted into Evernote. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and in fact, really, my question is, I found it so interesting that, for example, now Calendar, the integration with Calendar and the Google Calendar is yeah. different. I mean, that's kind of like you've got to use Google Calendar to be able to integrate that in, whereas tasks was something that was just built right into the system. Was there a reason for that? We just saw a great opportunity, Dave, to build something special. I think um, tasks, so we, starting back, we knew this was a huge user need, okay? Users had been asking us for some kind of specialized feature for this, uh, for related to task management for years. Uh, it was actually literally the number one way that people used Evernote, believe it or not. Like half of uh, Evernote users were already using Evernote for, for task management, you know, using the checkbox feature or what have you. Um, so this isn't something that just kind of sprung out of our imagination. It was just listening to users and, and wanting to give them what they, uh, what they needed. I think 
when we started envisioning what this could be, and we looked at, well, here's the way they're using it today, using checkboxes uh, and whatnot, um, uh, rather than, again, see it as something separate, kind of like a parallel structure alongside notes, let's think more broadly about what the note can be. So rather than a note be sort of like a dry list of bullet points or whatever, can it be sort of like a canvas uh, on which you can uh, paint a bigger picture of your life, not just the things you're trying to remember, but the things you have to do? And so when you think of the note as this sort of broader thing, you can put all kinds of cool stuff into it, including the stuff you have to get done today. And very early on, it clicked for us that this idea of kind of like mixing in your tasks with your non-task content would be super powerful. And again, something that the many other great task apps on the market don't have uh, and something that we could do that's, that's super Evernote. -y. So that was a big part of the vision from the beginning. Yeah. And I, I think that's one of the things that I have really decided that I like most about it, that uh, it's more than, in fact, I sometimes think the, the, the word tasks is maybe the wrong word for it because mm. it, it really is powerful and can do so much. So uh, Jack, you want to give us a little tour of some of the basic features of tasks? Uh, totally happy to Dave. Let's, um, let's just get straight to it. Uh, this is an Evernote note, really simple note, things to do. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to start with a, a, a simple note and I'll probably show you a more complicated note, note later. But as you can see, I've got a list of tasks here and anytime I want to create a new task, I can hit return off a task and I get a task or my favorite, I can do a keyboard shortcut command T, uh, uh, and a task comes up. Uh, so I can uh, enter my task here, and then I've got all of these different options of ways to, let's just say, add stuff to the task that makes it more useful. So I can add a due date to the task. So I can go in here uh, uh, and pick a specific due date and even a due time uh, on, on which I want to get the, by which I want to get the task done. Uh, I can set a, a reminder on the task. In this case, I've actually got something called default reminder set up. So every time I set a due time, it'll automatically apply a reminder to the task. But I can also just go ahead and say, you know what, I want to be reminded an hour before, a day before, what have you, and add, add that reminder to the task. You can have up to five reminders for a task. And do you get those reminders as flags in your system, or how do you get reminded? Yeah, so... Uh, uh, you get them basically as notifications, okay? So you would see, you know, the little sort of like, uh, you know, operating system notification that you get, the thing that pops out from the side of your screen, mm -hmm. that you, I would get that at these times. And then also on my mobile phone, I would also get uh, push notifications on my mobile phone. So, um, and then I can, you know, flag the task as well. You know, if it's, if it's more important than the other stuff I want to do, uh, I can, you know, flag it uh, and I can assign it. Uh, so I could, uh, I can really simply just go in and, uh, you know, if I'm working with someone or, uh, uh, you know, assigned to the wife for the kids or what have you, I can go ahead and just assign the task here. So there's a lot of different things you can do with a task uh, uh, that make it more than just, you know, the checkbox that people are, uh, have been using uh, Evernote with uh, 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 to date. So it's got a lot of powerful um, attributes to it. Um, uh, so that's basically a task. What I'm showing you here is just a task in a, in a simple note. It's a list of tasks. Let's, uh, let me show you a more complicated note. And this is kind of showing what I think is the real power of tasks in Evernote. So I have a note. I have four kids, Dave, a uh, lot of kids, a lot yeah. of things to keep track of. Uh, and so I have this note as a way to kind of track all kinds of things that are going on with the kids uh, from health deadlines that are coming up, school uh, school things I need to be aware of. And the key thing is just a list of tasks like I had in this note is not going to get it done. I need a lot more context and info uh, uh, to stay on top of this. So, um, so in this note, for example, I've got tasks. I've got things I have to ask my wife. I've got notes uh, that I wrote on a notepad and took a picture of, and I, I put that in the note. I've got notes from doctor's appointments uh, uh, that I have here. I've got info, you know, links to uh, the CDC website related to vaccine stuff. Uh, most of the tasks have due dates. Uh, this, so I bet I think the key thing here is this power of having your tasks alongside the informa information you need to complete the tasks 
mm -hmm. uh, I think is the real power uh, of, of Evernote. Like I said, you can see all these things. I don't, I don't want to have these three bullet points in this image, like in the task title, but I need to know these things in order to complete the task. And that's, that's really the, the power, I think. Yeah. And so, so these tasks embedded in this note mm -hmm. uh, would, would, you can set reminders for them. And yep. so you don't have to go searching for these tasks. They will, uh, they will, they will come to you at the appropriate time. Yes, the notification helps you with that uh, for sure. Uh, uh, but you know, the the other thing I would say is the note acts not just as a place to include stuff you need to know to complete the task. It also just as acts as an organizing device. Mm -hmm. And so once you start using uh, a note as an organizing construct. Now you're tapping into all of the super powerful uh, IA of Evernote, you know, whether it's, you know, notebooks, stacks, spaces, um, save searches, tags, filters, uh, all of that. Now you can use, you can kind of like apply to your task management as well. We didn't, a lot of, uh, you know, we, don't, we didn't have to build up all that infrastructure to support a way for you to organize uh, from scratch because we're just tapping into an existing system. So if you, wanna see, yeah. if you wanna see like all of your tasks in one place, how do you do that? Yeah, so there's uh, we've got this uh, entry in the left nav here, tasks. When you click on that, it does exactly what you just said. It pulls all of your tasks together from all of your notes uh, uh, into one place where you can look at them. And they're organized, as you can see, by note. So like, like I said, the note becomes that kind of container. Um, and so like you saw that note that I showed you of the, uh, uh, the things to do, that simple list, all of the tasks that were in that note are also, also right here. And if I want to go back to that note, I can just click here and it pulls up, it pulls up the note. Mm -hmm. um, can you add a task that's not part of a note? Short answer, no. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> if you add a task, so one thing you can quickly do, Dave, is you can, if you're, if you're just on the fly, just trying to oh, capture something, you can just go to the green button, the main green button and just click add task. Uh, uh, and it we have what's called a default task note um, set up here. So this is this would be the parent note of this task I just created. Um, and it's you think of it as just like a catching, like a catching ground for any new task you create. So every task is in a note, but um, we have one note that's set up to catch anything you kind of set up you don't have to go to the trouble of organizing every single time you create it we've got this uh default task note that'll that'll contain it uh and you can go ahead and organize it if you want later yeah that's great because i uh, that's that's one thing that i you know a lot of times i'm thinking of something that i have to do or i want somebody else to do on my team yeah uh you know while i'm just you know eating breakfast that i don't really want to yeah. go create a whole note so that shortcut yeah. is actually very helpful Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly right. Uh, you can just on the fly capture something. And then later on, you know, you can you can go to the default task note or you can just search for it uh, real quick. You've got a search. You can use the task search. You can use the overall Evernote search. Uh, and you, so, you, like I said, you've got all those Evernote tools at the at your disposal to to track things and find things. Mm -hmm. I am, for example, not the most world's most organized person. Uh, I'm sure and more, I have a list of, of tasks with, uh, of notes that contain tasks, but you know, I'm sure a lot of other people would have a much more streamlined, elegant, structured list. So I really need that function that you just described, uh, to be able to just grab a task really quickly, not necessarily organize it in the moment, but be able to find it really quickly later. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I am most excited about Jack, and, and to be very candid with you, this was the one thing that held me back from migrating to Evernote tasks is mm -hmm. the concept of recurring tasks because mm. so much of what I do, I have to do on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, on an annual basis. And I don't wanna keep having to forward those things, but now yeah. you, this is, this is relatively new, correct? It's brand new, uh, right off, yeah. Just uh, straight out of the, the presses, Dave, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm, I'm like you, I, a lot of, what the reason I really need help from a task manager is to help me remember the little things, not necessarily the big things. I've got some big project going on at work. I know I have to do X, Y, Z. It's sort of staring me in the face uh, every day, but 
it's the things on the side, maybe those mo more mundane tasks, the more boring tasks that you just are sort of out of sight, out of mind. That's where you need the most help to remember things. So here's all of these are just examples of maybe more mundane tasks, but things where you need that recurrent schedule uh, to remind you to do them because they're not always top of mind. Uh, you know, I'd say the classic, the probably the biggest example of all is take the trash out. That's something that for me anyway, has to be done every week. My trash day is Friday. I never, never in a million years would be sitting there on a Thursday night and remember to take out the trash. I <laughs> never, it will never, ever happen. So this is like my canonical uh, uh, recurring task thing that I need help with. So I can go ahead. Uh, if you want, I can give, keep going here and give you a quick demo. Of, yeah, of go ahead. So yeah, so the way we think of recurring tasks really simply is just a task with multiple due dates, okay? Uh, so in this case, a task with a due date every week. So the way you access the ability to create recurring tasks is through this, the due date affordance, okay? So you click here to set your due date. Um, you're in the due date picker and you've got this uh, entry point down here uh, where you can go ahead and pick exactly the recurrent schedule that you want. And um, we designed this feature to be super flexible to allow you to set all kinds of recurrent schedules because all kinds of tasks have different recurrent schedules. Everything from, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the weekly on Friday take out the trash task, or excuse me, weekly on Thursday take out the trash task, uh, to the, um, uh, I'll just set it actually, uh, to the to the annual by birthday present task, you know, uh, and everything in between, or the the daily, you know, take medication task. So I can set a a daily schedule. Even a uh, custom, I see. That's awesome. Yeah. So you could think see things like you know watering the plants. Uh, you know, that's the kind of thing that maybe you do on a you know, uh, call it like a every six weeks kind of schedule. So not necessarily fitting into the, you know, daily, weekly, monthly pattern, call it every six weeks. And you can literally actually pick the day of the week, say Saturday, uh, on which you, on which you want to, uh, uh, want to get reminded of that task. So it gives you that flexibility. You can also say, you know, I, I don't want to do this forever. You can stop it on, on this date. So yeah, that's where that custom schedule comes in really handy. Man, I'll tell you, you when 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 this rolled out, you absolutely made my day because uh, <laughs> this, is, this has been such an important feature, and I really do think it's going to allow more people like me to to migrate from whatever task system we have uh, into our home base of uh, of Evernote. Um, is there any other like super cool feature that that you're really excited about that? you know, might get lost in the shuffle of, of, of rolling out uh, tasks and the recurring tasks? Um, no, I don't think anything's going to, I think this is just going to shine a light on the, the whole feature. I don't know if it'll uh, overshine anything, but I, I think the, the way we organize uh, uh, everything, pull everything together for you in the, in the task drawer here is, is very powerful. Uh, mm -hmm. And it gives you a lot of different ways to see your tasks. If you're a person who really likes to put uh, due dates on tasks, you've got a, a you know you can see your tasks organized by due date into different you know categories and buckets. Um, if you are a person who just likes to use notes, you can use the notes as the container. If you've got a lot of people that you're working with that you have to assign things to, uh, or and they're assigning things to you, you can see things organized that way. Um, and then when you are in uh, the task kingdom, you can um, uh, you can or you can move things around, right? So you could take take medication and move it to the bottom of the list. Um, you can you could take it and move it to you know, another note, if you want, uh, you can, you can, it, you know, you get all the flexibility of dragging and dropping things uh, 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 to any place you want. So you can use this task drawer, this task kingdom as kind of a, uh, a really slick organizing device, uh, if you want to, you know, you can filter things by, you know what, I just want to see things that are due in the next 14 days. Um, I want to just see things that were created by Dave. Uh, all of those different options to to give you a lot of flexibility to organize your tasks and then see it see them different ways once you've organized them. So that's yeah. the, only, the only other thing I would make sure that people know about. That's uh, that's really great. 
you guys, you and your team have to be really proud of this because I think you've built so many features into this that really a lot of task managers that have been on the market for a long time, quite frankly, don't have. Uh, we are proud, yes. <laughs> and well, that's true, Dave. There are some things that are, uh, are Evernote unfair advantages that we had coming in and we tried to take advantage of those, but there's also a lot of stuff we have to build to, to take this to the next level. But yeah, I'm, I could not be more proud of the team and I could not be uh, more excited about the reaction that we've gotten from folks since we launched this last year. Yeah. How do you keep an app like this fresh? I mean, you, you've rolled it out and now obviously you're probably giving a lot of feedback. I mean, yeah. do, you, do you envision this, this uh, part of Evernote continuing to evolve? What, how are you doing that? Absolutely. I, it's a, it's a big part of, uh, you know, it's really central to the, the next, sorry, I'll call it several years of Evernote's development that accomplish anything aspect of the, of the mission. So uh, we've got a big team working on this feature, uh, uh, a long to-do list of, of really cool things to build some, some big things, some small things. Uh, and yeah, I think, we just want to keep evolving the feature, keep bringing out new improvements uh, uh, based on the feedback that we get from our users. I mean, the best source of ideas is the people who are using it uh, uh, day in, day out. And we've got so many great ideas that we've heard from our users that we just can't wait to, to get into the product. So yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll keep staying fresh. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, uh, I, I will be migrating into it. So I'm very excited about uh, <laughs> becoming a hardcore user of, of tasks with an Evernote. Hey, Jack Lynch, thank you very much for, uh, for spending some time with us today and, and giving us a tour of this really great new feature of Evernote. Thank you for having me, Dave. Enjoy the conversation. I hope you enjoyed our conversation with Jack Lynch, product manager for tasks at Evernote. It was great to have him on board. Um, great way to get an insider's thought process of the way uh, a product like this gets uh, created and rolled out. And I hope to do more of these conversations uh, in the future. So if you like this kind of stuff, why don't you subscribe below and uh, hit the like button and gives me added encouragement to do more of these. And then you won't miss any of our uh, Evernote tips and tricks segments. By the way, I do uh, publish a free email newsletter on productivity, leadership, and management issues. I'd love to send it to you. All you need to do is go to my website, daveedwardsmedia.com, click on the contact button, and I'll be very happy to get you all signed up. More Evernote tips and tricks coming up very, very soon.